हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल सन एकेडमी आई एम नरेश सर टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द हारमोनिक मीन इन डिस्क्रीट सीरीज एज यू कैन सी द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड हारमोनिक मीन एक्स आई एंड एफ आई इज गिवन This chapter belongs to measures of central tendency in statistics. This topic, sorry, not chapter. Chapter is measures of central tendency. Under that topic is harmonic mean. Now, first of all, formula for the harmonic mean in discrete series is. H M is equal to n divided by sigma. Fi upon xi. That means first of all we have to prepare the column of sigma Fi upon xi <coughs> to divide by eleven. That will be two divided by eleven point eighteen. Four divided by twelve. That will be point thirty three. Six divided by thirteen, zero point forty six. Eight divided by fourteen, zero point fifty seven. Ten divided by fifteen, that will be zero point sixty seven. F I divided by X I is to be done. <coughs> Eight divided by sixteen, that means zero point five. Six divided by seventeen will be zero point thirty-five. Four divided by eighteen will be zero point twenty-two, and two divided by nineteen will be zero point eleven. Now we have to find the sum of this column, so that will be point eighteen plus point thirty-three. Plus point forty six plus point fifty seven plus point sixty seven plus point fifty plus point thirty five plus point twenty two plus point eleven. Now that is three point thirty nine. And total of n is ten and ten twenty thirty forty fifty. So. If I place both these value in the formula, fifty divided by three point thirty nine, fifty divided by three point thirty nine will give us fourteen point seventy four nine. That means fourteen point seventy. This will be the harmonic mean of the given question. What is to be done? First of all, you have to find the column of f f i divided by x i. That means two divided by eleven, four divided by twelve, six divided by thirteen, eight divided by fourteen, ten divided by fifteen. In this way, you have to complete this calculation. Then after you have to place both values n divided by sigma f i upon x i, and you will get. the value of harmonic mean now student if you want to learn these type of topics do continue with my channel do subscribe if you haven't still subscribed and share <coughs> the link to others also that they may get benefit don't be selfish okay